everybody here on deck and everybody backstage is so incredibly grateful for your love and support tonight. Thank you so much for being such an incredible audience. Give it we, uh, we just wanted to take a, a few more minutes of your time before we start Act 2. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and uh, this is such an incredible special story and musical for everybody here watching, doing the show backstage, on stage. It's just the most incredible show. And uh, right now, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you one of the co authors of this incredible show. <laughs> on stage and off who has um, been with the journey, this journey so long. So many of these people have been uh, through this, uh, through pandemics, um, through ups and downs, and it is just, um, it means the world to us to bring this back here. Um, we don't, uh, this is an ensemble show. Uh, it's made by an incredible team and it represents uh, our, our wonderful friends from Newfoundland. Um, and so we don't often pick favorites in the cast. Uh, but I wanted to invite uh, my favorite member of this cast, <laughs> the gorgeous actress playing Bonnie tonight. <laughs> I wanted to say thank you to, um, uh, to Ottawa. I, I went to high school here. I went to Lisger and, uh, and yeah, yeah, uh, Flamme. Uh, it was, um, uh, that, that's where I took my first drama class. I, I joined the drama club. Um, uh, I took my first uh, theater camp at Arts Court, uh, and I saw my first musical here at the NAC. Um, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to say... I want to say thank you to, uh, to all of the theater community, all the shows that I saw, that we've seen, uh, the, the shoulders that we stand on to have made this show, that we've all seen, um, and to the audiences who have supported uh, new Canadian works and, and the arts in this country. So thank you so much to all of you. on a true story and everything you see on the stage actually happened after we interviewed tons of people out in Newfoundland and we have some very special guests here tonight so I want to welcome to the stage our Newfoundlanders that are come from a ways come on up you guys we'll call you back <laughs> of Newfoundland and Labrador. We're good, kind, generous people. Yeah. 
you don't want anything in return. I always said that love, kindness, and compassion will outdo evil any day of the year. Woo! On the first day, we had 7,000 strangers in our town. On the third day, we had 7,000 friends. And on the fifth day, we lost 7,000 family members. That's how close we became to those people and they became to us. This show, this musical that David and Irene had the foresight to see, I remember when they came in my office and when they left, I remember saying to the town manager, that young couple's going to end up on welfare. <laughs> how you're going to make a music with sandwiches and blankets and boxes and <laughs> But I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, they did a phenomenal job. <laughs> in all the interviews and everything I did over those five days was in the 700 mark that I did with media all over the world. But there was one that really stood out, and I'm going to tell you about that one. It was a Detroit radio station called me at 1 a.m. in the morning. That was Newfoundland time. And the dean, whoever was interviewing, said, Mr. Mayor, is it true that you give complete strangers your vehicles to drive? I said, yes, sir. He said, we wouldn't do that in Detroit. <laughs> I said, no, but we don't live in Detroit. <laughs> He said, weren't you scared they were going to steal your vehicles? I said, not really, we live on the highland. <laughs> and there's an old saying that we used to say that one half of the world doesn't know how the other half live. But you know, we can all make this world a little bit better. And if we're going to make it, we have to show love and kindness to everyone. We can all have different of opinions. We can go to different churches, we got different political beliefs, but at the end of the day, we should be able to bring anybody in your home and give them a lunch or give them something comfortable to sleep in. And if, when we do that, then we will have a better world than what we have today. Woo! that you've seen here tonight is only a very small portion of what happened over those five days. There's thousands of stories that's been told. We could have, you could have made four or five musicals. <laughs> that, there are that many stories to tell. But we're glad that it's being told around the world and hopefully it will make a difference. When it was all over, I said that I was so proud of my community so proud of the other communities that helped out. Not just from Hackleton and Glenwood and Gamble. Now, we had people bringing food so far away as five hours drive. Coming in to Gander, bringing in food. So it was a provincial thing. I was so proud of my community and so proud at that time to be from Gander. And I was so proud to be from the province of Newfoundland and Labrador, and I was even prouder to be a Canadian. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for seeing this show. Please tell your friends, tell people, and love and compassion and an LO or how you get in on, as we say in Newfoundland, it doesn't cost anything to be kind to someone. Just a simple hello or good morning. And we can all do that. So thank you, spread the word, and hopefully that we will someday for our children and grandchildren to have a lot okay. better world to live in. And hopefully we, we will see that and because of what you people are seeing and the world is seeing from this story. Thank you. Woo!